free gas uh, within the peritoneum is termed as nemoperitoneum and nemoperitoneum can be picked by erect or supine radiograph and uh, this erect and supine radiograph shows certain important signs which we are going to discuss on this uh, video uh, but the reason for the nemoperitoneum includes perforation this perforation may be due to peptic ulceration or maybe because of certain inflammation including appendicitis or toxic megacolon or necrotizing enterocolitis this perforation may be because of infarction may be because of a malignant neoplasm may be because of uh, obstructions or sometime nematosis coli may be responsible for that beside this it may be because of uh, certain surgeries like peritoneal dialysis uh, this may be because of uh, nemomediastinum. This may be because of uh, introducing of uh, something uh, pervaginum. It may lead to nemoperitoneum. Nemothorax may also be responsible to cause the nemoperitoneum. And certain and and sometimes there might not be any visible or apparent uh, uh, pathological process or etiology. But uh, this would be considered as an idiopathic. How it will appear, what are the nomenclature of these signs and how we will pick these on uh, abdominal or chest radiograph. This is really very interesting and I am sure you will love this video. So just start watching these signs and you will be able to pick all these points on the abdominal radiograph, on the chest radiograph and some of the CT images has already been shown just for the uh, further knowledge. So let's start watch these videos. Dodge cap sign is a particular sign we can appreciate on the abdominal radiograph to confirm the nemoperitoneum. This is the example of the Dodge cap and on the abdominal radiograph to some extent the image will appear like the same like the Dodge cap. Here on this uh, abdominal radiograph you can appreciate that this uh, blue arrow is indicating uh, lucency uh, to some extent it looks like a dodge cap so this is a confirmatory sign for the nemoperitoneum nemoperitoneum can be caused by perforations maybe due to peptic ulcers or malignant neoplasms or some obstruction or maybe caused by certain uh, peritoneal dialysis or certain surgeries may also be caused by nemomediastinum or nemothorax uh, and sometimes there may be no reason for that but uh, this uh, dodge cap sign is a sign if you appreciate on the abdominal radiograph it's a confirmatory sign for the nemoperitoneum Nemoperitoneum can also be picked on the chest radiograph. This chest radiograph showing you a particular specific sign which is called as a gas underneath the diaphragm. So this gas under the diaphragm is a confirmatory sign for the nemoperitoneum. On the chest radiograph you can also appreciate the cupula sign. Cupula sign actually air which arises within the abdominal cavity of the supine patients. Uh, to accumulate underneath the central tendon of the diaphragm in the midline. So in the midline it would be appreciated and the superior border is well defined here in this case but the inferior margin is not well defined. This sign is called as cupola sign. Cupola sign is a characteristic sign of the diagnosis of nemoperitoneum. There are some bowel related signs on uh, abdominal radiograph uh, which indicates the nemoperitoneum. The one of them is called as ringler sign or in other words it is called as double wall sign. Look at these uh, red arrows and uh, yellow arrows. It indicates like there is a double wall and this is called as a ringler sign and this is the specific sign for the nemoperitoneum. Related to bowel, there is another sign uh, which is indicated here uh, surrounded by the blue lines. This is called as telltate sign and this telltate sign is also 
a confirmatory sign for the pneumoperitoneum. Pneumoperitoneum can also be picked uh, by the peritoneal ligament sign here on this image on this abdominal radiograph uh, you can appreciate a football sign and this is indicated by the white arrow this is because of peritoneal ligament sign so this sign is called as football sign and this is pathognomic for the pneumoperitoneum. This is uh, another sign which is called as falciform ligament sign can be seen on uh, ab chest x-ray and on CT abdomen. On the chest x-ray this red arrow is indicating uh, falciform ligament sign that is because of the pneumoperitoneum and on the CT abdomen uh, you can appreciate the falciform ligament sign indicating by the yellow arrow and this is what the pneumoperitoneum causes and uh, it will appear on the CT images and the chest radiograph. Nestleario V sign or you can call it as inverted V sign here on this chest radiograph you can appreciate that inverted V indicating by the black arrow and this is another sign for the pneumoperitoneum on chest radiograph. Another ligament related sign you can pick in the pelvic uh, radiograph which is called as uracus sign and uracus ligament here you can see in the pelvic region this white arrow, uh, this black arrow and this white line is actually pathognomonic for the presence of the pneumoperitoneum so this is uh, called as uracus sign. On the right upper quadrant you can also pick certain signs for the presence of the pneumoperitoneum and this has already been discussed the first topmost sign is the cupola sign and it will look like an inverted cup so here this uh, white arrow and these black arrows are indicating cupola sign on the chest radiograph for the pneumoperitoneum. On the right side upper abdominal quadrant you can also appreciate uh, ligamentum teres sign this white arrow is indicating on the abdominal uh, CT scan so this arrow indicating ligamentum teres sign which is a confirmatory sign for the pneumoperitoneum. Another example of the ligamentum teres sign on the abdominal radiograph and the CT abdomen so this sign is uh, called as ligamentum teres sign and it's quite clear on the abdominal radiograph and you can also appreciate it on the abdominal CT scan. On the right side upper abdominal quadrant you can appreciate another sign which is called as uh, hepatic H sign which is quite visible here on this uh, chest radiograph and you can appreciate that the hepatic H is visible that is because of that it is uh, hepatic or liver is surrounded by the free air and which will appear as an edge of the liver so this is called as hepatic edge sign due to uh, pneumoperitoneum. Again on the right side upper abdominal quadrant you can appreciate another sign which is called as lucent liver sign so here it is lucent liver and that is because of the presence of the gas uh, free peritoneal gas and this is pathognomonic for the uh, pneumoperitoneum. On this CT abdomen image you can appreciate uh, that there is a periportal gas visible which uh, is indicated by the white arrows and this is uh, the confirmatory sign for the pneumoperitoneum.